What's going on guys? Welcome back to iTrust Dream. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that like button for me. Hit that subscribe button. And if you guys find this video informative, let me know what you liked about today's video in the comment section below. Today's video is a non-sponsored in any way, shape, or form. This is a video that is simply just for educational purposes only. Today, we're gonna to be talking about why I switched from Appbox slash Seedbox over to a network attached storage. Why I put my content in one of these rather than inside of a Seedbox. Uh, before we even get kind of into it, I recently had a Appbox. A lot of you guys, uh, a lot of you, um, FileLink users, and also uh, if you guys have your own FileLink store, if you guys have your own uh, Plex se uh, setup, you probably most likely purchased uh, a subscription for a Seedbox in, in some way, shape, or form. You guys could have Dropbox, Seedbox, uh, Ultra Seedbox, Appbox. There's a bunch. There's so many out there. Um, Open Drive, and uh, recently with one of the companies, I don't want to really disclose exactly which company it was. Cause I'm not. I'm, and this video is not, is not talking about why you shouldn't go with this company. I pretty much wanted to talk about why I switched. I don't want to talk about exactly which company it was, but I had about a terabyte worth of content on there. It completely crashed. Don't know exactly what uh, I went to their support and asked what happened to my content. Um, payments were up to date. And I used that, I, I used that, uh, um, I used that seed box for hosting my Plex stuff. So I would upload my Plex stuff up onto the server and I would be able to redirect it to my Plex media center and I was able to watch my Plex using that seed box. Now I had about a terabyte worth of movies and TV shows and, and, and content that I would like to, that I that I, my family enjoyed watching. I had it uh, connected to about like four or five different users and it worked great. Never really had any uh, messages of it overloading. It just one day, it just wasn't there. I reached out to them and they did not respond back to me with anything that I wanted to hear. Pretty much they were saying stuff happens and we're sorry that you lost your stuff. So. It's very important that you do back up your stuff in different ways. Now, for me, as a business owner, I have a lot of files, I have a lot of documents. There's a lot of stuff that I don't personally want to put up on the internet for storage. Now, having a computer at home, having a hard drive that you can actually uh, store your stuff on a hard drive, that hard drive could break, your computer can break. It's very, very smart to have your stuff distributed in different areas. So. For me, I like to use Plex, I like to use MB, but for me, I've been building my Plex uh, media center and I w it was just really frustrating. Thank God I had everything pretty much still on my computer. So I was able to uh, get the files and I had to re-download my files. So with this bad boy, uh, this is something that I invested for myself. It might be out of your guys' price range, so this is why I didn't want it to be like a, uh, guys, go, go ahead and buy this today. I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing, and uh, maybe you guys can take some of these notes and, and some of this information and apply it to your home. So this was this came out to be about $800. So, uh, yeah, 800 bucks for me to um, pretty much put a bunch of my movie stuff on it so I can access it, knowing that this is connected at my house at all times knowing that I can um, reach my stuff without any uh, problems. So uh, right here, you can actually see there's two different drives. I, I did purchase two eight terabyte uh, hard drives by Red uh, that I was able to uh, put in here. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and boot this off in a second. Once I boot it off, I can open up the trays and kind of show you exactly what it looks like. But anyways, it does hook up through it does hook up through Ethernet. Now in this office, my Wi-Fi in this house uh, is in the middle of the home. So I don't have a Ethernet core running over all the way over here. So what I ended up doing is that I did pick up a Wi-Fi extender. This does not have Wi-Fi. You do have to hook this up through Ethernet. So that was another way. So I spent another 120 bucks on something that was decent. Uh, to get a good internet connection in here. So this is this stays on constantly. This is on 24 seven, seven days a week, 365 days a year, it never turns off. You are able to run this in different rates. Now, if you guys are, aren't familiar in diff uh, how to raid your guys's um, network attached storages, I, I have this on a, um, a mirror raid. So what that means is that this is copying everything that I put into the system, it is copying, uh, 
also onto the other hard drive. So if this hard drive was able to, was, was to fail at any given point, everything is backed up on here. You can run this into another RAID called spanning. And what spanning is, it's a combination of drives in a linear fashion to create one of the large logical volume. So what that means is that it can actually store, if I was to put in two eight terabyte uh, hard drives in here, it would be a combination of both. At, uh, so it'd be 16 terabyte worth of space. So if I'm running low and I'm done mirroring it, and I don't want to back up onto two, diff two different hard drives, I can actually make it one huge hard drive and uh, it'll be like 16. So if I put a 16 in here, it'd be 32. So whatever you're wanting to um, put in here. So a lot of people have a lot bigger ones than this. This was simply for me to kind of get into it, to kind of see if this is something that I would like. I'm able to run different types of applications on here. Um, it's really cool because I was able to, if you guys are Plex users, you guys are very familiar with transmission. You can actually install an application right on here called with transmission and install it right onto your, your server. The first thing that I did notice is that it does come with, it does come with the built-in Plex. So it's super easy to, I mean, this is super easy to work with. Uh, a lot of people uh, configuring Plex can be easy for a lot of people, but it can also for as a, a new user, if you don't really know what you're doing, connecting your server to your Plex, um, getting the actual right file format for it, uh, you do need to install it somewhere. So um, people ask, uh, why do I need this to run Plex? Well, you don't need this to run Plex. You don't need a seed box to run Plex. You can actually simply run Plex right on your um, computer. If you have a home PC computer at home, you can actually use your PC or your Mac uh, as your Plex server. But the problem why I don't like to do that is you're constantly using your hard drive at all times. You're, your computer stays on 24 seven for you to access your Plex um, uh, content. So I don't want it, all my stuff on here because it can wear down the, the life of your uh, computer and your computer is gonna be a whole lot more expensive than, than one of these. So um, will I continue using a, will I continue to use a seed box? Yes. And the reason why I say yes is because um, I have a filing store and using filing, I don't want to have other people connecting to this um, to download filing applications on my network. So I'm going to pay $10 for a, um, for a seed box to simply just use it for filing. So if something was to ever happen to it, they're just small little files. I have everything backed up onto my computer, so I'm able to just re redirect it onto a, a, another seed box so you guys can download the content. Now, this is simply just gonna be for my home movies, my personal documentations, uh, um, like home videos, personal stuff, and also my Plex. So anytime I, I do get more content for my Plex, I'm putting it onto here. So I'm gonna show you guys on the computer a couple screen grabs, uh, exactly what it kind of looks like. And, but yeah, th this is a really, really cool device. You can see right here, I'm gonna show you guys. You can also see on the back of this box. Um, on the back of it, if something was to happen to this cord, it will, uh, it will, it will bounce over to the next, um, uh, the next connection. So you're always with internet. Also, what I thought that this was really cool is that um, it comes with two power inputs. Now, why? Uh, you can run two different power ports onto the back of this. So if you were to have a power surge or say like your, you know, your cat or something like that, or <laughs> one of your pets ate one of your cords or and you had a power surge on this power, it would instantly within less than a second, it will switch over to the other power supply. So this will never turn off. I'm like that. So little things like that. I thought that was really, really cool. So anyways, guys, again, this is all the information is linked below. You guys could actually go to Western Digital uh, website and look up my cloud. This is the Pro Series. Um, and I'm gonna leave you guys with this. When it comes to video playback, I thought video playback was really, really cool. Uh, a lot, I have a lot of content that is 4K. So um, sharing this on my Plex with a couple of my family members, like my brother, my mom, uh, my wife has it on her connections. I have a couple connections and we all watch it all at the same time. Uh, are you able to have uh, multiple people with this have uh, with with playback so it does come with four gigabytes worth of RAM which is plenty for video high-definition playback so what that means is that you're able to play back 
4K, another 1080p, another 4K video, all at the same time on all different networks. And as long as you're using about four to five different devices all at the same time, uh, this will produce enough output um, to have a, a buffer free experience while watching your Plex. So I thought that was really good. I think that people can build their own rigs and media servers at home for uh, right around about the same price point as this or even cheaper. But the only thing is that you're having to build it and for uh, as a uh, entry, consumer, uh, entry level consumer or someone that is very uh, uneducated when it comes to building rigs like that, I think this is an all-in-one type of thing to where it's going to give you a decent amount of capacity depending on what you want to put in there. Also the playback is going to be pretty consistent. And uh, as, a, as an entry user, I think for a lot of people you can't go wrong with something like this. But if you go and get a little bit more advanced and educated in how to build a rig that's way quicker, you're gonna get like 16 gigabytes worth of RAM in memory. Uh, you're gonna have a whole lot better uh, experience, but you're gonna have to pay a little bit more. Uh, I think that is gonna wrap it all up. But again, four gigabytes of RAM. I mean, it, this is right around $800. The chassis was about three something, but I did spend extra to get eight terabytes, two eight terabytes hard drives. This one did come with the 16, so you can actually just buy this chassis, put your own hard drives in, and you can get this for maybe about $400. So the only reason why mine was a little bit more is because I, um, I got the one that had 16. So this is, that's plenty for when it comes to movies and TV shows and anything that I don't wanna watch, I delete. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, uh, hit that like button for me. Go down to the links inside of the description below to find out more information about this, um, if this is something that you guys are interested in. Again, if this video does uh, well enough, I'll do a um, how, how to set this up with Plex and stuff like that. So let me know. A lot of people have been asking about Plex and also NB. NB is just like Plex, just a little bit more advanced when it comes to different areas, when it comes to IPTV stuff. Uh, I will do a video about how, um, the differences between both uh, Plex and also MB, or just do an MB video. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is iTrust Stream, and until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Later.